job possibilities was a main driver for pursuing industrial engineering. Um, an industrial engineer has their hand in so many different things from procurement to quality to manufacturing. You get to experience countless amount of different types of jobs while pursuing industrial engineering. Siemens is a global company at the forefront of many operations. Uh, working for Siemens, you can work in various locations all around the world. You can work in any function that you'd like, from finance to engineering, and you get to work on a countless amount of products. I think that one of the main similarities between the plant fill game and real world manufacturing is the fact that you're measured based on key performance indicators. And these could be anything from safety to on-time delivery to energy management or quality. And in the plant fill game, all of the opportunities that you have are based on these performance indicators for depending on how your plant develops and making sure that your plant is continuously running. And that's the same for real world applications. I think that the most beneficial aspect of the plant fill game for myself is the fact that you have access to all the different departments within the plant. In real world applications, I work mostly with engineering, I work mostly with manufacturing, I don't work with finance and marketing so often, but in the plant fill game, all actions depend on other actions from other departments. So if you have a financial decision to add new capital equipment, then that will in turn affect my productivity in the plant fill game. And in real life, that, that's the same scenario. Manufacturing engineers are expected to optimize processes and methods to allow for an on-time delivery of a product. And similar to the plant fill game, in plant fill you can make decisions based on number of employees needed for a job, you can make decisions based on safety equipment used, and most importantly you can decide on if you want to decline or accept the job. And all of these things lead to customer satisfaction. provides many opportunities to see how all KPIs are interdependent. For example, if you need to upgrade some type of safety equipment, you need to determine if your financials are, are suitable to update it, and also you need to determine if you're able to stop a job in order to update the equipment and have an on-time delivery. Um, the pause button? This is definitely one advantage that you don't get in a normal manufacturing setting. With the Plantville game, you're able to pause and then you can come back at any time. So if you have another task to do or if you're making dinner, feel free to come back later.